Tanner James, DJ TJ training, redlining. You've probably heard the saying, if you're not redlining, you're not headlining. Look, I'm gonna tell you that is completely not true. That is wrong, that is stupid, that is just completely dumb, right? Okay, look, what is redlining? Let's go over what it is. Redlining is where on the mixer you have a few greens maybe, maybe you have a ton of greens, a few yellows, and then some reds, okay? The reds are not your friend. The reds are basically saying that the, that the signal coming out of the mixer is getting distorted. Um, what that means is, I'm sure you know what a distorted speaker sounds like. Um, in an old car and you blast the music and it, right? That is distortion. It is, does not sound good. Here's the thing. If you are distorting it out of your mixer, that means the signal is then getting distorted. Not necessarily that the speaker is distorting it because it's two different things. We're dealing with two different factors here. We have the mixer signal coming out distorted versus the sound. So you can have, you can be on the first green and not have it distorted from the mixer, but you have the speaker turned up so loud that the speaker distorts it. Or you can have the mixer distorting it and the speaker is just replaying what is being sent. So here's the thing, do not redline. It is not good. It sounds bad to your clients and if you wanna create an awesome feeling for your clients, you can't do it with distortion. Um, it, it, it sounds bad, especially at, at high-end events, weddings, corporate events, uh, you, know, you know, you can't do it. It just sounds bad. So so don't redline, don't redline in clubs, don't, don't do it, stay in the yellow at, at a minimum, you know, preferably green. If you can stay in the green, that's best, but don't go into the red, stay in the yellow at max. Tanner James, DJ TJ Training.